the adding and subtracting of positive and negative integers. Adding and subtracting integers. Now this, what I'm gonna show you here works for integers. I'm gonna introduce it with integers, but it also works for whole numbers, natural numbers, fractions, decimals, rational numbers. But I'm gonna use integers. There are several different ways to think about how to add and subtract positive and negative integers. This is how I teach it. First rule, every number has a sign. So every number is either a positive number or a negative number. The sign is always in front of the number. Sometimes it is disguised as the operation. Example, 3 minus 8. The two numbers are a positive 3, okay? Even though there's no plus sign written, it's still a positive 3. Pluses are not always written for the first number in a sequence. And a negative 8. The negative was disguised as the subtraction symbol. So it, it looks like 3 minus 8, but it's actually a positive 3 and a negative 8. So every number has a sign. It's always in front. Sometimes it's disguised as the operation. There are two main ideas that need to be memorized. Main idea number one, same sign means add. So if the two numbers have the same sign, you're going to be adding them. Different sign means subtract. So if the two numbers have different signs, one positive, one negative, then we're going to subtract the numbers. Main idea number two, the answer, we're always going to keep the sign of the bigger number. And again, this is for adding and subtracting. Multiplying and dividing is different. For adding and subtracting, if, it's, if the two numbers are the same sign, we're going to add them. If the signs are different, we're going to subtract them. And the result, we're always going to keep the sign of the bigger number. And I'm going to illustrate that by these four examples. 3 plus 8, negative 3 minus 8, negative 3 plus 8, and 3 minus 8. Let's look at the first one. 3 plus 8. Well, we know the answer is 11. But let's look at what we really have to work with. We have a positive 3. Again, pluses are not normally written for the first number. And a positive 8. It looks like an addition symbol, but it really belongs to the 8, telling us that the 8 is positive. Both of these signs are positive. Both of these numbers are positive. So they have the same sign. That means we're going to add them. So 8 and 3, if we add them, we get 11. And then we're going to take the sign of the bigger number. Well, the 8 is bigger than the 3, so we're going to use its sign. And so the answer is 11, a positive 11. But we normally write just 11. Negative 3 minus 8. Again, let's look at the numbers. We have a negative 3 and a negative 8. Remember, every number has a sign. It's always in front of it. So the 3 is negative. The 8 is negative. They're both negative, which means they're the same. They're both minus signs. They're both negative. So we're going to add the numbers together. So we add 8 and 3, we get 11. And now we're going to keep the sign of the bigger number. The 8 is bigger than the 3, so we're going to use the 8 sign, which gives us negative 11 for our answer. Negative 3 plus 8. So we have a negative 3. 
and a positive 8. They're different signs. One is positive, one is negative. That means we're going to subtract them. So subtracting 8 and 3, 8 minus 3, always do the bigger one minus the smaller one, gives us a 5. And now we kind of the bigger number. Well, the 8 is bigger than the 3, so we grab the 8 sign. So it's a plus 5, or just 5. Three minus eight. So let's see what we've got. We've got a positive three and a negative eight. The signs are different, so that means we're going to subtract. And eight minus three gives us five. And now we keep the sign of the bigger number. Since 8 is bigger than 3, we take 8's sign. And we end up with negative 5. And that's basically what we do all along. Is you look at two numbers, look at their signs. If they're the same, we add. If they're different, we subtract. And the result will always take the sign of the bigger number. If you don't, here's another way to think about this. A positive number is a check that came in the mail. A negative number is a bill that came in the mail. Now balance your debts. Did you receive enough to cover the bill with some left over, or do you still owe money? So we'll go back to this example, negative 3 plus 8. So the negative 3 is a bill for $3. We'll say it's from the Wiley E. Coyote Company. And the positive 8 is an $8 check from Aunt Sally. Balancing the two leaves you with $5 left over. Which is 5. So negative 3 plus 8 is 5. There's another way. Still another way. Positive numbers are concrete blocks. Negative numbers a hole. Now fill the holes with the concrete blocks. Do you have enough to fill all the holes with some left over, or do you still need more blocks? So the negative three is three holes. A positive eight is eight blocks. Now we go ahead and Fill the holes with the blocks, and you can see that I've got five blocks left over. So the answer is five. Adding and subtracting, let's look at a more complex problem. So I've got 7 minus a negative 3 plus a negative 6 minus 5 plus 8 equals. The problem here is the double signs, 7 minus a negative. So we've got two signs next to each other with no number between them. And then we've got adding a negative 6. So we've got two signs next to each other. Step one is turn all double signs into single signs. So subtracting a negative, they're the same sign. So I'm going to replace it with an addition symbol. So the same sign. Remember, same sign was add before. Same sign means plus. So we put a positive there, a plus. And here, adding a negative, they're different signs. And remember, before different signs meant subtract. So we're going to put a minus sign there. Okay? And then we're going to rewrite the problem using the single signs. So 7 plus 3 minus 6 minus 5 plus 8. Okay. And now we're just going to go left to right using our order of operations. 
So we take a look at the first two, 7 plus 3. What do we have again? We have a positive 7 and a positive 3. They're the same sign. So we add, which gives us 10. And then we take the sign of the bigger number. Since the 7 was bigger than the 3, we grab the plus sign. Okay, bring down the rest of the problem. Take the next two, positive 10, negative 6. They're different signs. One's positive, one's negative, so it means I'm going to subtract. 10 minus 6 gives me 4. And I take the sign of the bigger number. Since 10 is bigger than 6, I take the plus that goes with the 10 to make it a plus 4. Bring down the rest of the problem. So now I've got a positive 4 minus 5. The signs are different. That means I'm going to subtract. 5 minus 4 gives me 1. Take a sign of the bigger number. Since 5 is bigger than 4, I grab its sign, so this is going to be a negative 1. Bring down the rest of the problem. Now I've got negative 1 plus 8. They're different signs. One's positive, one's negative. It means I'm going to subtract. And 8 minus 1 is 7. Take the sign of the bigger number. Since 8 is bigger than 1, I grab its sign, which is the plus. So the answer is just 7.